First of all, if you don't live in Lawrenceville, if you don't know Kyle, then you may not know what a lot of this video is going to be referencing. But just so you know, I started this cooking channel for Kyle to help Kyle learn how to cook for himself. And uh, he's been doing great. He's been doing lots of updates, learning how to cook new things, uh, starting off small with like tortilla pizzas and, uh, you know, uh, fudge homemade popsicles and those kinds of things. And he started his own video channel, Cooking with Kyle, whereas I'm cooking for Kyle. And uh, so uh, there's going to be a lot of references to the Cooking with Kyle that he does versus the Cooking for Kyle that I do. So make sure that you know the difference. On today's episode of Cooking for Kyle, Rice Krispie Treats. With Sophie and Henry. Before we get going with the recipe, I got something to say. There's been some talk going around. I've heard some things from a couple of kids, a couple of wonderful little kids, that they think they like cooking with Kyle better than cooking for Kyle. Henry, Sophie. Is this true? Is this true? I don't, I don't, I think I heard a rumor, but we're just going to make sure that it's not true today. We're going to give you all sorts of reasons to remember why cooking for Kyle is the thing to do. Starting with this, I'm guessing that this probably doesn't happen a lot on cooking with Kyle. Since we really like making sweets like Kyle makes, we're going to go ahead and make some sweets today. We're going to make Rice Krispie Treats. And it turns out that you don't need that many things to make Rice Krispie Treats. All you need is some Rice Krispies, some marshmallows. I like the mini kind because they melt faster and easier. Some cooking spray, a little salt, butter, vanilla. Now. The first thing that I will say about Rice Krispie Treats is that I was just going to do a basic Rice Krispie Treat today, but you need to know that whenever you make Rice Krispie Treats, you don't have to make Rice Krispie Treats. You can make basically any kind of cereal into a Rice Krispie Treats. You can use honey bunches of oats, fruity pebbles, chocolate pebbles, what anything you like. If you really like a cereal, you can make a crispy treat out of it, although that works. it's not what we're doing today. We're just doing rice crispy treats. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get our butter ready. We need about one and a quarter cups. This is this is closer to one and a half. I'm gonna use it all. Uh, and I don't know why I was gonna put that in the microwave. I'm just going to put it in the, <laughs> this has to melt, so I'll just put it in the pan. So the pan, uh, I got the biggest pan that I could because um, we want to make sure that we don't overflow the pan, that we can stir it up whenever we need to. And I'm just going to heat that on uh, medium high heat. Guys, tell me if you've ever seen this on Cooking with Kyle. And while we're waiting for that to melt, I'm going to come over here and um, take a 9 by 13 pan and spray it with some cooking spray just so that it won't, so that the Rice Krispies treats won't stick to the pan. Um, going over amounts, I'm using a 16-ounce, that's one-pound bag of mini marshmallows. This is about 
nine cups of Rice Krispies and we're gonna have just a little bit of a pinch of salt and vanilla also. It's melted iron. Haven't seen that on cooking with Kyle. So uh, we're going to take the marshmallows and open them up and we can just pour the whole bit into the pan and we need to start stirring in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and put the other ingredients in also. It's very important to use exactly the right amount of uh, vanilla. Just measure it very precisely. And then uh, the recipe says pinch of salt. You can probably skip the salt, but it's not a big deal, but it, salt can't hurt other than your arteries. And then we're going to just begin to stir this making sure that we don't have it up too high. We just kind of want to slowly melt this stuff. Okay, so let's ask this piece of paper whether cooking for Kyle or cooking with Kyle is better. Paper should know, right? Paper not gonna lie. Oh, looks like the paper is decided. <laughs> so we want to just basically kind of heat it over medium heat until it's completely liquid so that we can't see any like chunks of marshmallow in there and you got to stir it the whole time because otherwise it'll stick to the bottom of the pan and make a big mess mm -hmm. i get it it's cooking cooking with kyle he does like tortilla pizzas stuff little kids like uh you know popsicles but i'm pretty sure the little kids like this too your name done in fire you like that right you like that, Henry? I think you like that. <laughs> so I think it's all pretty well uh, dissolved, melted now. And so it is time, I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna add all the Rice Krispies all at once. And then this is kinda, this gets kinda messy here. You gotta stir it up, stir it up quickly so that you get all that uh, marshmallow coating on all the little bits of cereal. And you gotta do it kind of fast because you're gonna wanna not only mix it up but pour it into the bowl before it sets. So I think that's pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and take this over to the bowl now. Is that Sophie? You want your name spelled out too? Okay, but don't do this at home. Don't do it ever anywhere. bowl pan and start scraping it out you should uh, have a hot pad to hold this with it's not very hot for me but uh, if a little kid or young young adult like Sophie or Henry were making this they would definitely need a hot pad as much of this out as I can rubber spatula wouldn't be a bad idea here right. and then we're gonna spread it out we're gonna kind of push it down just a little bit but you don't want to scrunch it down and crush it you just kind of if you can keep them kind of whole and light and airy but pack down enough that they're actually a nice solid bar that's what you want and that is uh Pretty much it. Now we're just going to wait for these to cool over the next 30 to 60 minutes and then we can cut them up and eat them. And we'll plate them. And always make sure to clean out your pan afterwards. The nice thing about marshmallow is it'll pretty much just dissolve when you run some hot water into it. And clean it out with a rag. Now for the most important part the plating. So we're just going to take a sharp knife and carefully cut these out into whatever size pieces you want and place it on the plate and just keep doing that until you got a pile of them. Yep. And the last thing 
that makes cooking for Kyle so much better than cooking with Kyle, Sophie and Henry, is. If you ask your mom, she will get these Rice Krispie treats out of the place where she hid them and you can eat them right now.